So this here is the crystal that I pulled out of the blue box. It's the competitor's crystal. And there it is. It's an image that we sent them of the Tesla Model X uh, SUV. Uh, it pops really nicely. Uh, and overall, uh, if you ordered this from them uh, and you didn't compare it or you didn't watch this video, then you would pretty much be satisfied with it, I would think. All right. Um, until, you know, you see this. So let me take our crystal and put it right next to it. So now you can see a clear difference, right? It's the exact same image, uh, but what we've created is a lot brighter. Actually, before I even talk about the image, let's look at the crystal. This crystal here has no facet, no bevel. Our crystal has like a three millimeter bevel on it. So it looks uh, quite elegant. Um, why is this image brighter than this image? Um, some people will say that they have a superior laser. Some people will say they're using better quality crystal. It's got nothing to do with the laser. It's got nothing to do with the crystal. It has everything to do with the software. We use um, a software called Cockpit 3D. Uh, it bakes the image quite nicely in HD. But the important thing is it's the way that it sorts the points so that we're able to inject a million or over a million points into this sized block without risking any melting or cracking inside. Um, the software that most competitors are using will not allow them to inject that many points because as soon as they try and cross a certain threshold, call it 400,000 or 500,000 on this particular size block, it starts melting or cracking, right? So that, that's the key difference uh, right there. So to play it safe and to ensure that it doesn't crack, um, they'll, they'll run it with, uh, with much less points. Uh, let's compare this with another sort of an image. So this, I'm going to show you an image of, uh, of a child and, and a dog. Okay, so again, that's the uh, competitors. And this is ours. And I'm just gonna turn the light off. Um, if you think I'm playing with light to make ours look better, turn the light off and you can see it. Let me bring the original Tesla's back with the light off as well so you can compare them clearly and see that really it is um, a superior output. It's got nothing to do with light tricks or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to show you that anything is possible. So that's the comparison that gives you an idea of our quality versus theirs. Uh, I also just want to show you that anything can be put inside a lot of corporate applications. Uh, this is a plane. You know, uh, it can be companies will send us um, really their objects, um, their brands, and we'll put it inside. Uh, this, for example, is just a plane, but we could have had a logo up here, a personal message over here. Um, I'll show you, uh, oh, here's an interesting one here. This was done for a uh, mining company. They actually found or mined a diamond that was that size, and they wanted to gift a crystal with that diamond inside or an image of that diamond inside to each of the staff that were involved in mining. So they had us replicate the exact shape and size of the diamond with their company logo. We also support a lot of members uh, in the industry, members meaning people that want to sell crystals, 3D crystals, um, as, as their own businesses. Um, and... Um, there was this one guy, he, uh, after selling $50,000 worth of crystals, wanted to get uh, an image of <laughs> cash uh, put inside crystal in 3D that he could display on his office desk um, as a little pat on the back to himself, as well as uh, a way to motivate him to hit his next um, goal uh, for sales. So we support the industry, and uh, hopefully this, this video has given you some good uh, insight into why you should be purchasing a 3D crystal from us, the uh, original manufacturer. Thanks for your time.